Okay, everybody. So this is the um, next assignment that we have, which is the lost letters assignment. And this is a fun assignment. I think a lot of students really like this. Um, there's just a few sort of situations that occur that I want to um, kind of um, cover with you so that we know um, like exactly what is uh, required for the assignment. So um, the I've created sort of the assignment information uh, here for you, kind of goes through everything, okay? And the idea of this assignment is to use um, characters of language. So you're allowed to use any language that you like for this. Um, and we're gonna use the characters of written language as units in a design. And so um, what we're really thinking about is the idea of um, creating an image from letters, but the letters do not create words. So this is about concentration in terms of like the design element of concentration. It's also about um, planes and contour, uh, so lines. Um, and so we're also thinking about the visual weight of um, positive and negative space and also thinking about value. So with this assignment, the, the big challenge is twofold. The first challenge is really to disassociate the written characters as images of communication that are linked to language in terms of written language. And then the second challenge is to use these characters as units to create an image that has the visual indicators necessary to inform viewers that they are looking at a dimensional form. So by that, what I mean is that dimensional forms have value, which describes light and dark in relationship to dimensional planes, dimensional edges. And we are going to take this sort of very common character. We see them every day. They're everywhere around us. Disassociate its significance but continue to use it as a signifier of lived experience. So what does that mean? You know, what does that all sort of mean? So it's a really complicated way really of saying that we're gonna make an image out of letters, right? But I want you to recognize that we're actually trying to do something more complex. So what I mean to achieve with this assignment with you is to see how Gestalt is really effective in helping the mind to see a unified image or group, even when the vehicle of expressing the image, so in this case, the characters of language, have already established meaning. Now you can use any language that you wish to do this assignment. 
um, those of you that use other languages, no matter what they are, I trust that you're going to stay within the parameter of the assignment to not um, create words. The reason that I want to use these characters and to deconstruct their manner of communication when used in combinations of one another is because I want us to see the image. I don't want us to see the words. And so actually what we're doing is actually, you know, it's, it's complex because we use these characters every day to express ourselves. And what I'm asking you to do is to take that expression, that written expression, and to eliminate the possibility for you to make a statement with these characters via written language and to replace that written language with the depiction of an image that is created from design units rather than from letters that make words. It is not uncommon for students to sort of slip up with this assignment. And when they do, I think that's when we end up with less successful works. So like this work was a self portrait from a student and they only use their initials. I think that is okay. But I think this image, which is a really great positive space, negative space, design has really great use of closure. I think it falls apart in the sense that the name of the animal is used again and again. It's still a really great example for you to see sort of like a possibility, but I definitely want you to stay away from this. Okay, do not create words. This image, for instance, is a very strong image. There is no attempt to create words here. The letters are being used as design units only, and so it's functioning really, really well. You can totally do something like this, where you have the playfulness between the characters and the background. Very excited to have some of those come through in the process, but you may not do this. I'm, I'm really not interested in this. Again, I'm having this here for you because it's a great example of the possibility of closure and positive negative space. I'm not having this here for you to see that name repeated over and over again. I really don't want that. This example is much more like what we're after, which is this, this random use of characters in the way that it's, you know, would traditionally be used, which is in written language. In that sense, it's random. But what we're looking at is sort of a non-random use of these characters. The distribution of the weight. How big is this character versus that character? And then the distribution of value. So value is created by quantitative utilization of units. So the more units there are, the smaller they are, the more it's going to appear to be darker, the larger the units, the less the amount of units, then that's going to create a lighter value. So remember that value is light and dark. And so you want to play with the way that value is being used to create the sense of dimensionality, which is what our goal is here. So go ahead and look through 
the examples and um, see how other students have treated this. So for me, this one is a nice example. Again, I'm leaving in here to show you possibility of uh, the way that uh, an image can be created. But again, I'm not really interested in this top part where it says skirt over, over again. I know it's a skirt. You don't have to tell me it's a skirt. I'm not interested in that. But this student did do a good job of distributing some of the characters in a way that are you know, successful. I do want you to see that. But again, I'm not interested in you looking at the word sock and writing me the word sock. I know it's a sock. I don't need you to tell me it's a sock. But I am interested in this image created by the student because of the way that they created dimensionality and value. This is a much stronger example in terms of using the characters just as unit in a design. This is much more like what we're after. So make sure you understand the difference. This is an excellent example from a student. Dimensionality is strong. It's created through quantitative use of, of the characters. So again, the smaller the characters, the more of them there are the darker something might appear, but also the thicker the characters, of course, that's gonna make the character appear darker as well because it's thicker and there's more black. So have a look at the examples. I know it gets a little difficult when I'm like showing you something and I'm saying, don't do this, but it's important for you to recognize that, again, I'm not interested in how you're using written language. Written language has nothing to do with this. It's all about using the characters as units in a design. And then considering something like the weight of the character. So this is a lighter weight than that. This is a small character of a lighter weight versus this larger character of a darker weight. And so because of the difference between this larger, darker character and this smaller, lighter character, you're going to get that dimensional playfulness. So you're going to go through the uh, assignment instructions um, that I posted and then look at the examples here and then send me any questions. You can also use your markers in combination with a pen or you can just use your markers. The goal is to make your characters visible. So this is a really nice example of a design, but again, it's all created from M's, which is great, but where the M starts to lose its um, design quality, I would say there the design starts to fall apart a little bit like down here. But in some of these other areas, it's really nicely done. And that's a result of the markers probably, but it can also be a result of just like the time that you spend. So have a look at these examples that I uh, posted for you and go through the instructions and send me any questions that you may have.